Inverted Pendulum on a Cart, Fuzzy Logic Controlled by LabVIEW. The main purpose of this video is documentation of the entire system. Here is a video overview. Cart on the track. Inverted pendulum. Digital potentiometer. Op-amp circuits. Cart position is changed by a DC servo motor. Oscilloscope showing any two signals. Lab view fuzzy logic controllers. DAC terminal block. DC servo motor. Servo motor amplifier. Small disturbance. DC power supply. Cart position is DC servo motor controlled using the fuzzy controller. A larger disturbance. Fuzzy controller inputs are pendulum angle, cart position, and cart velocity. Fuzzy controller output drives the servo motor. The cart position controller should be more robust. Pendulum angle controller has acceptable robustness. In the remainder of this video, descriptions of the following will be provided. The fuzzy controllers, LabVIEW program, hardware, and electronic circuits. The fuzzy controllers. The fuzzy angle membership functions. Fuzzy rules and I.O. relationship. This fuzzy system controls the pendulum angle. The next fuzzy system controls the cart position on the track. Cart position membership functions. Cart rate membership functions are identical to cart position membership functions. Fuzzy rules and I.O. relationship. The LabVIEW program. Half of the block diagram the other half, the fuzzy system files are read here, three analog input channels are specified, one analog output channel is specified, program runtime is calculated although not necessary, the loop time is less than one millisecond, but forced to be one millisecond here.
all three analog input values are read each time around the loop every one millisecond. The cart position signal is extracted. The cart velocity signal is extracted. Cart position and velocity gains are applied for the purpose of utilizing the fuzzy input signal limits of plus 10 and negative 10. Two scaled cart position and rate signals are sent to the fuzzy controller. Applied to the fuzzy output signal is a gain that is appropriate for the trim angle. The trim angle is added to the pendulum angle. A gain is applied and given to the fuzzy angle controller. The fuzzy output signal is written to the analog output port. All interesting signals are plotted. Loop time is calculated, although unnecessary. And then everything in the loop is repeated every one millisecond. Initially, after the best mechanical pendulum angle of zero is achieved, the best trim angle is selected to give the best angle of zero in the program. While observing the cart slowly go back and forth between the mechanical limits, cart rate gain and cart position gains are selected. Then the fuzzy output gain is selected and then activated. Now the hardware. Thirty-year-old hardware made by Feedback Incorporated. That's the servo motor, power supply, amplifier, attenuator, Op amp summer, preamplifier, tachometer on the motor shaft, motor shaft pulley, not much larger than the motor shaft, potentiometer proportional to cart position, the optical encoder, now the electric circuits. This block diagram summarizes the motor circuit. Video shows all the wires. The digital encoder circuit plus a low pass filter. The circuit shows the cart position and cart speed signals. The op amp circuits and a larger picture.